Hi everyone, this is Matt from Prime Studios, and today we're talking a little bit about FTP and why it's insecure and why from a security standpoint you should not be using it. Um, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. We've been using it for ages to connect uh, to remote servers and uh, to download, upload, uh, transfer files um, from machine to machine. So why is FTP bad? Well, FTP uses no encryption, not even on your username or password. So everything over the wire flows in plain text, which makes it very easy for an attacker to sniff your network, find your username, password, get into your server, and wreak havoc. Um, so what is encryption though? What is, uh, you know, how does encryption work? Well, encryption you've encountered for sure on the internet, and that's when the browser turns into HTTPS. Um, that is using SSL or TLS encryption, and what that does is that encrypts all the data flowing from your machine to the end machine, which would be a server, um, you know, maybe your bank, some other website that needs to be encrypted for security reasons. Uh, Gmail uses it. There's tons of people adopting it because, um, you know, we don't want to send all of our uh, sensitive information over plain text. Uh, you can think of encryption, you know, rudimentarily as, uh, you know, maybe a code that you shared with your friends passing notes uh, in elementary school where maybe you change uh, every A to a B and every B to a C and every C to a D and so on. Um, so you could, you know, pass a note and no one else could really understand what it said except for the two people who knew the key. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what we do with uh, public keys and things like that. So what we're going to persuade you to use is called Secure File Transfer Protocol. And uh, it's really not similar to FTP, in fact, even though, you know, we call it SFTP and whatnot. But this... Uh, encrypts all the data flowing over the wire. So it's basically using SSH, um, which is a protocol that encrypts everything. So FTP is unencrypted and SFTP is encrypted. Now SSH encrypts all data, even passwords. It uses public key cryptography, which is good for many reasons, um, and it replaces unsecured protocols like FTP, Telnet, um, you know, all those things that we used to use and, you know, used to be okay until, uh, you know, the internet was huge and we really started using it. So what we're going to show today is an attack, um, basically using ARP injection on a network that we have access to. And we're going to catch that information over the air, um, from an FTP client. We're going to try to get a username and password out of it. Shouldn't be that hard. So the first thing I've done to show you how uh, this works here is I've opened up a shell and I'm going to type an IF config on my WLAN zero. Uh, I need to get the INET address and that's uh, that tells me that I'm what subnet I'm on, basically what IP address I have. So now I'm going to search for all the ports on the subnet and we're going to see what type of hosts are up. Uh, this is going to give us a list basically of uh, what computers or devices are on the uh, subnet that we can attack. So I see the one that I want, and uh, now I'm going to use EdderCap, and I'm going to do an ARP replay. Uh, I'm going to make a log file here, ftplog.txt, put it into full text mode, do a man in the middle attack, um, ARP replay, and first I'm going to type the gateway of the network, and uh, then I'm going to type the attacker's IP address in the next query, and... Uh, yeah, we're going to run that. That's going to enter uh, ARP injection into the wireless network. So now we are a man in the middle. And I will go over to my FTP client, and I'm going to try to log in. And we will hopefully see some action here. Uh, type in my credentials. Let's give that a go. All right, so you can already see that some stuff came up here. Uh, I'm going to quit, and it's re the victims. So leaves no trace. And I'm going to open it up uh, just in a, uh, a nano here and we can take a look that it logged everything we did and it just logged usernames and passwords. It's trying to get into uh, our Prime Studio server. Obviously that's not our real credentials but you can see it grabbed it right off the wireless network um, as a simple man in the middle. So again the reason why we were able to do that so simply 
is because the FTP protocol sends everything over the wire in plain text. All we have to do is set up a machine that sniffs or uh, you know basically transfers all the data from the attacked computer through it uh, into the larger part of the network or the router. Now, if we were using an SFTP protocol, which relies on SSH, all that data would be encrypted. So unless we had the key, all we're gonna see is a bunch of jarbled words or characters there. And we can't really do anything with it um, from an attacker point of view. So uh, we've gone over a lot here, gone into some technical things. Um, you know, applying F SFTP to your server is gonna depend on your operating system, some of your configurations, whether you want it or not. But the basics of it is that it runs over your standard SSH port because it relies on that protocol. Um, and as we know, that's encrypted, which is great. Uh, so one thing you can do is take that SSH uh, port and put it onto something like up in the 20,000 range. Uh, you know, you have ports on your server from one to 65536, which uh, my network professor insisted that we know. Um, so you can change it to a higher port because you know sometimes there are robots that will go around and, and you know sniff for port 22 being open and, and try attacks on it. So it's you know it's a questionable mitigation technique, but but we think it's pretty good. Um, also, don't log in as root. You know that's that's security 101. Uh, don't give anyone access. You know even if they got your password to really do damage to your server, make a user with uh, the correct permissions. Um, Clients that we use are FileZilla, WinSCP, Putty. Um, all those work really well with with SFTP, um, you know, and SSH for that matter. So, anyways, we hope you learned something. Uh, we know it's kind of fast to go over all this stuff, but uh, check out all of our other security tips at blog.primestudiosllc.com. And thanks again for checking us out.